Hello everyone, long time no see. I'm back with this new format, but don't worry, the tutorials are gonna come back soon, so stay around for that. And today I wanted to show you my three favorite Houdini plugins, and I know what you're thinking. Most of you have probably switched to Houdini or think about switching to Houdini, especially because you are tired of plugins that are either unstable or are hard to manage and you're looking for something that gives you a more cohesive experience especially when it comes to like uh, simulations and procedurality but don't worry these are nothing like that and also more importantly they fill some gaps in the Houdini workflow so without further ado let's get started now the first one I use almost daily is called OD tools and it's more of a collection of tools than a single thing so I'll try to cover the things I'm using the most and I'll let you discover the rest the first thing that it has and which I feel it's really important it in something that's really missing out of Houdini is its asset library it comes with a handy material library, it gives you a texture library, it gives you an HDRI and light texture library, and it also has a cool integration with uh, Megascans. The second thing I'm using uh, a lot in OD tools is its material converter. So what it does is it allows you to convert materials, so like you can convert from Mantra materials to Redshift. It also gives you a really handy and useful a project manager which I might be guilty of not using that often but it's great and it helps you stay organized and keep everything in short scenes and so on that's especially helpful if you're doing VFX and are more close to like the VFX workflow but it's great for motion design and animation too also another cool thing is it has a lot of small tools that allow you to convert attributes to groups groups to attributes and so on so I'm sure that if you're using Houdini daily you are going to find something in OD tools that's going to convert some hours of manual labor into a one-click quick solution it comes at 99.9 .9 USD but I think just the uh, asset library alone is worth that so I think that this is a smart purchase to make if you are a Houdini artist. Now my second favorite Houdini plugin is called Modeler and I think this one is pretty self-explanatory. So what I used to do before having this was jumping back and forth between Blender and Houdini whenever I had to model something from scratch and that will work great but sometimes you need to make like a quick fix or change and maybe you don't have the right tool for that in Houdini so this is where Modeler comes into play it comes with a collection of modeling tools floating menus and custom shortcuts that will allow you to model just as fast as efficiently as Blender, Maya or any other 3D poly modeling software the only downside I could find to it is that it's not meant to be used as procedurally as other Houdini tools or at least that's, that's my experience so maybe you keep that into account when using it and remember that some tweaks may not be as fast but that's true to any other 3d software so no worries about that at 100 usd some of you might find this expensive especially considering something like blender is free but i think if you have your whole pipeline in houdini and especially if you're rendering and you're not going outside for anything else I think it's a useful addition to, to your pipeline and it's worth getting. For number three we have mops. Now I tend to be a bit more old school and develop things maybe too low level at times. So this one is not something I'm using that often. But make no mistake this is a cool collection of tools especially if you're coming from something like Cinema 4D and you are used to deformers. There is a big library of tools that you can use to instance, to animate masks and to create really cool looking motion graphic shots really fast. Also the soft version is completely free, only the DOP version costs, so there's no reason for you not to download it and give it a try. My one favorite tool out of the MOPS collection is the Spring Solver. It will help you turn boring animations into interesting ones by using just one node. So this is my top 3 Houdini plugins, but I'd like to know if you are using any, so let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you know when that new brain-twisting tutorial arrives. 
Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.